Uh, good day. This is a um, so 311 class. My name is Abdullah Muhammad. I'm a lawyer in private practice. The credit for the course is three, and the title of the course is Sociology of Law. But let me give you a course overview. This course is a sociological examination of law, both as a mechanism of social regulation and as a field of knowledge. It explores classical and contemporary theoretical contribution to sociology of law. The specific issues to be analyzed include the very nature and purpose of law and the sociological emergence of the Nigerian legal system. What we are hoping the students will learn from this is upon completion of sociology of law class 311, you'll be able to conduct sociological examination of law, both as a mechanism of social regulation and as a field of knowledge. Recognize and explain the principal schools of thought in sociology and in law. Reconsider the role of formal legal regulation in relation to modern society. Be aware of influence of tradition, gender, status, and social class on the outcome of justice institutions. Apply sociological theories to the mirror of contemporary justice problems. The course overview. This course is designed as a sociological examination of law as a mechanism of social regulation as a field of knowledge. This I've already explained earlier. Introduction. Let me start by definitions. The period of sociology of law emerged as a discipline in, I'm not certain, but generally but at, we put a period probably at the mid of 18th century. Some say even before sociology as a discipline was here to emerge. But a clear perspective will be seen in the Mexico classic book, The Spirit of Law. The trend was also very noticeable in the earlier periods of sociologists like Max Weber, Emil, and Durkheim. The concept of sociology and law. The word sociology is a hybrid word coined by a person regarded as the father of sociology, Augustine Comet, from two languages. First, the Latin word social, which means social or society, and the Greek word logos, which could mean study, science, or theory. Going by etymological meaning, therefore, sociology is the study of society. I know a short definition it is, but it's also broad and it's hardly captured what the subject is all about. But we are going to look at intellectual disciplines that are, in a way, a study of society too. Even when we narrow the coverage down to social behavioral sciences, there are still a number of likely contenders that fit such a broad definition. Examples, economics, political science, history, anthropology, psychology are all the studies of human behavior and society, sociology and other behavioral sciences. Thus, since I am a lawyer, not a sociologist, I will just stick with this broad definition and add that unlike other disciplines that were said, sociology takes a holistic focus on the society and not a single dimension as of the others. For example, sociology singles out the legal dimension of the study. By doing so, it must relate with what happens in the legal sphere in the society. Sociology is a scientific study of human social interactions, product of the social interactions. Why is it scientific? It's because in carrying out the investigation into social phenomena, sociologists proceed according to the general requirement of scientific methods. It is scientific methods that make sociological propositions totally different from common sense. I believe you know that scientific method, which are the set of principles the scientists consciously or unconsciously in search for a new knowledge use. It entails a systematic and purposive gathering of facts, deductive reasoning, in translating statistics results into theoretical interference. There is no fixed order in which the scientists must proceed, but the steps are generally agreed to include the following. 
or non-restricted to experiencing a problem, defining the problem, reviewing of relevant work done on the subject, formulating hypotheses, collecting data, classifying, interpreting, analyzing of that data, testing hypotheses slash verification, drawing conclusions slash formulating theories. The sociologists will, when conducting a quantitative survey or qualitative survey research, proceeds according to the scientific principles stated earlier. The, so the sociological perspective is the distinctive way in which sociologists will view society and social life. At the end of this subject, you will be able to appreciate the subtlety and complexity of the sociological perspective when directed upon the phenomenon of law. Imagines and development of sociology of law. As an academic course of study, the images of sociology of law is generally put at the mid-18th centuries. Some believe that it has, did not become institutionalized as a modern empirical science until in 1962, when research committee of sociology of law was established by International Sociological Association. Nonetheless, since the 18th century, you could see clear discernible contents in the work of Montesquieu, that is the spirit of law, in which he demonstrated how law and society can shape each other. Jurists like men in the ancient law, Holmes collected pay legal paper in 1926, or sociologists like Dunham, that is Division of Labor of 1893, Sumner, Faruka, Warburg, all these philosophers, you can easily disenable their views in respect of this new course of study. The pertinent question becomes, given this early interest in the social content of the law, why did it take so long for sociology of law to emerge as a course? The core of the answer lies in the attitude of those same early lawyers and sociologists. Each group tried to carve out the boundary of its discipline and saw the other as trying to deal with the same subject as an outsider or as an intruder. The fathers of sociology see themselves as scientists in the mode of physiology, not scientists. The founding father, Augustine Contin, Emily, Graham Sommer, believed in the science of scientific methods. In pursuance of this, they saw the dominance of sociology as a quack fact or social fact. They were positivists who maintained that sociology should deal the observable, or the is. Law to them belonged to the normative realm of the earth, though they were very interested in sociology, of order, of social control. They did not consider law in the restrictive, restricted sense, worthy of a sociological investigation. Lawyers, on the other hand, have always been very conservative they confer an aura of sacredness on their subject. Anyone who is not trained as a lawyer is not learned, and, that's, and it's not welcome to double in the subject matter of the novel profession. This mutually reinforces the attitude to continue to militate against the development of sociology. On to both sides, eventually, it starts to be working together. This new awareness Many illuminating statements were made by eminent juries of the 19th and 20th century. In fact, the major beneficiary of the coming together of these two parent disciplines is law. It is in recognition of this that majority of the law faculties in some part of the world today require sociology of law be offered as part of the course leading to the award of law degrees. But it's not yet applicable in Nigeria, except of course in general studies where it is selective. A French jury stated that a little law leads away from sociology, but much law leads back to it. A little sociology leads away from law, but much sociology leads back to it. In other words, it is ignorance of both sides that has hindered the emergence of this discipline. Holmes, a one-time Supreme Court judge in the United States, stated that the life of, a law, of the law has always been logic 
has been experience of real social existence, which the judicial process cannot overlook. Low embodied study of nations de development and cannot be dealt with as if it is contained only in the axioms and chronologies of the book. Another German scholar argued that lawyers had not merely grabs the principle of his subject, but has to bring it a genuine understanding of the under underlying sociological implication of legal rule with which he operates, and how this could be used to resolve and harmonize rather than provoke an exacerbate. More recently, a former Nigerian Supreme Court judge, Justice Karibi White, also noted that it is extremely important for good understanding of law to understand its general background, that is, the whole sociological situation which gives rise to the prohibition of a particular conduct or provide defense for such provision. So the contemporary wisdom is that it is legitimate and rewarding for sociologists to be interested in law and for lawyers to be interested in sociology. The hitherto antagonistic relationship has become one of partners, but before delving into this new reality, let me look at the concerns of sociology of law. The subject matter of sociology of law. Subject matter of sociology of law is law as it is in the social context, as a sub-discipline and of the discipline of sociology. It aims to apply sociological insights to legal phenomena, particularly in their interacted social conditions and social structures. Major challenge of this course remains the attempt to integrate jurisprudence and social research. Thus, this presentation relies heavily on the book of Bogritsch, Work, Law, and Society, published in 1974. And as a developing one, the subject matter is not static. The sociology of law is concerned with the nature of law, its sources, and its functions, its relation to other social control mechanisms, and the complex relationship between legal systems. That is, law together with apparatuses for making, enforcing, and administrating it and the society. It studies the material from which laws are made, the institutions, the, proce the processes of law enforcement, interpretation, education, and administration. Components of legal systems such as legislature, the police, justice department, courts, prison, social welfare agencies, on, are all examined with a view to sociologically unravel and explain their functions definition of sociology of law. The course may be viewed as the application of sociological method to the study of law. Let us briefly rever review a few of the definition of the course by jurists. One defines sociology of law as an attempt to marshal what we know about the natural elements of social life and to bring that knowledge to bear on a consciously sustained enterprise governed by special objectives and ideas. Another one said, the part of general discipline of sociology which deals with specific legal thinking. Podrochik defined it more elaborate, and in, it includes the subject matter of the sub-discipline. According to him, sociology of law has its task not only to register, formulate, and verify the general interrelations existing between the law and other social factors. That is, law could then be regarded as an independent or dependent variable, but also to try and build a general theory to explain social process in which the law is involved, and in this way, link this discipline with the bulk of sociological knowledge. Now, a Nigerian jurist, Alimeke, in 1994, also contributed his insight. He defines it as application of sociological theories, insights, and methods to the problem of law in relation to society. A critical look at the above definition reveals that they are all saying the same thing. 
Some have only gone further than the others in elaboration. You have learned the meaning, the method, the assumption, and the conscience of sociology. We discussed the late emergence of this subject or subdiscipline of sociology. You also learned that it is not a branch of general sociology, no, but also an auxiliary of legal studies. It's neither of those two. Many quotations were given on the benefit of sociological stud sociologists studying law and various definitions of courses preferred by eminent scholars. Thank you very much.